Hello, in this video I'll show you how to find a rotation matrix for a 90, 180 and 270 degree rotation about the origin. I'll timestamp each one of those rotations below so you can skip through if you just want to say see a 180 degree rotation and if this video is useful then please do like and subscribe. Okay, so let's start off by taking a look at a rotation which is 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So. I'm going to start off by looking at my points 1, 0, which is this one here, and 0, 1, which is this point. And I want to see what's going to happen to them when I apply a rotation of 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Well, my point 1, 0, I could mark it on, I could label it 1, 0. Well, that's going to be moved 90 degrees up here onto the y-axis. And it's going to become this new point, which I'll put a cross at. And it's going to be the point 0, 1. Okay? And so the first column of my transformation matrix is going to be 0, 1. Let's now look at what happens to the point 0, 1 under the transformation where it's shifted round onto the x-axis over here. And it's going to have the new coordinates, negative 1, 0. And so the column or the second column of this matrix is going to be negative 1, 0. And this matrix here would represent a rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. Let's now look at a rotation of 180 degrees, okay, about the origin, and we're gonna do it the same way. So I've got my point one, zero here, and then I've got my point zero, one. So what's gonna to happen to the point one, zero? Well, it's gonna re-rotate it all the way around to this side here, so I'll put a cross. And its new coordinates are gonna be negative one, zero. So that, that will become the first column of my transformation matrix, so negative one, zero. Let's look at what's going to happen to the, uh, the point zero, 01. So again, it's going to be rotated around 180 degrees and it's going to end up over here. So let me put a cross on there and it's going to have the coordinates 0, negative 1. And so that's the second column of my transformation matrix. It's 0, negative 1. Okay. Finally, let's look at the matrix representing a rotation of 270 degrees. And you can probably guess how we're going to do this. I'm going to mark on the point one, zero, and the point zero, 01. So what happens to the point one zero? Well, it's rotated around 90, 180, 270 degrees. And so it's now at this point here, which has the coordinate zero, negative one. Let's do the same. Let's see what happens to the point zero one. So it's rotated 90, 180, 270, and it ends up here with the coordinates one zero. And so the transformation matrix is gonna be zero, negative one, one, zero. And that's it for this video. So if this was useful, then please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where I've got loads of other math tutorials. Thanks for watching.